Okay. We have the transistor right here. We have it trailing off to the base. The middle is going to the collector. The other side is the emitter. We take a look at the transistor. You can see that it is the base, the collector, and the emitter. And those are the three legs of the transistor. Now, if we take a coil that is bifiler, meaning it has four leads off of it, because it's double wound, the ones with the duct tape on them are going to <coughs> cause the transistor to fire as a magnet runs past the coil. The other one, one goes to the base, the other one goes to your power source, which would be a battery, and then it goes into the collector. You can see right here that there is a diode in place. So as the magnets pass, they're going to fire the transistor and let the battery feed current to the coil to push the magnet past. I've made a simple drawing here. Hopefully it's clear. And that is basically how a pulse motor works.